Now we will do the same for the other two axes. We'll move the heated bed away that we can get to the, the end stop switch at the front here. And now we'll press the icon to home the Y axis and as soon as it starts to move, we'll press the end stop switch with our finger. If you if you press the home button and nothing happens, what also can be the problem is the connectivity of your, your end stop switch. So how the end stop switch work is they are normally closed and as soon as you press it it breaks the circuit. So if the the there's a connectivity problem and the circuit isn't closed then the printer sees that the end stop switch is already triggered and then it also will not move that that axis. So make sure that your the wiring of your end stop switches is, is done correctly. Now we will do the same for the Z-axis. We'll press on the Z-axis, on the Z-axis icon. And as soon as we do that, we'll press the end stop switch with our finger. Okay, so at this point we are sure that all three axes are moving in the, in the correct direction. And that all the end stop switches are working. Now we will do the bed leveling. What the bed leveling means is that all the, the axes, the different axes are perpendicular to each other and if it is set up properly then the hot end, if it moves in the X and the Y axis, then the hot end will, will stay a constant distance from the, the build plate. When you are done with the bed leveling, we can check that all the axes homes, homes correctly. So there is a fourth homing icon on your Repetio software and there is no letter on it. That one, if you press that one, it will first home the, the X, then the Y and then the Z. So if you press that one, it homes the X, it homes the Y and then it homes the Z. So when it's done with that, then the position where it's in is the, the zero point for all three axes of your, of your printer. So that's where it stops. You'll also see that in your Repetia host software, on the bottom corner of the, the build volume is a black dot. And that black dot represents the position where it's in now. The next thing we'll do is we'll test the hot end and the heated bed if they, they heat up and if they measure the temperature correctly. So on your Repetio software, at the next to the bottom colored bar, the one that goes from blue to green to red, is on the left hand side is an is a icon where there's a red line through that represents your, your hot end. So if we press that, at the top it should say Heating Extruder and on your display it will, it will show the temperature to which it is commanded. What you need to check now is that your temperature that is displayed increases and also that touch it quickly to make sure that it is actually your, your hot end that is heating up. If your hot end is, is not heating up and your heated bed is heating up, then the power leads is connected the wrong way around. If the temperature of your heated bed is increasing, but uh, the hot end is getting hot, then it means, means that the temperature sensors is plugged in the wrong way around between your heated bed and your, your hot end. Once you are done with that, you can do the same for the, the heated bed. Click on the icon just above the extruder, the one with the red line through it, the red line will disappear 
and the temperature of the heated bed should start to, to increase. When you are sure that the hot end and the heated bed, both of them are wired correctly, you can switch them off and then we, we can lift the extruder by about 20 millimeters and we can switch the, the hot end on. What we'll do now is we are going to uh, feed the plastic into the into the extruder and if you have ABS you can set it to 240 degrees Celsius if you have PLA you can set it to 190 degrees Celsius so you can switch on your, your extruder and leave it to um, reach the temperature